If you want to start using Fast API, an amazing Python framework for building APIs, this series of tutorials is exactly what you need. In this part one video, I'll show you what is Fast API and how to get started. By the end, you'll have your Python environment set up for using Fast API. Let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lian. Welcome to Just Into Data, where data science and data engineer materials are shared and made simpler for you. So, what is Fast API? As shown on its website, it is a modern, fast web framework for building APIs with Python 3.6 Plus based on standard Python type hints. You might wonder, there are already popular frameworks based on Flask and Django. Why do I want to learn Fast API? It is a relatively new framework, so it was able to learn great features from other tools and also having new features such as better Python type hints. Let's look at some key benefits of Fast API. As said in its name, Fast API is fast. It is one of the fastest Python frameworks available. This is mainly due to the framework being built on top of tools like Starlet and Pydantic for the web parts and the data parts, respectively. For many of you who are working in the data science field, because of Fast API's features like parallelism, Fast API is especially a good match to building web APIs for machine learning systems. Also, it is easy to do data validation in Fast API based on standard Python type hints handled by Pydantic. So, what are type hints? The Python type hints are a special syntax to indicate the type of a variable. It is a relatively new feature that's only available in recent versions of Python. With such declaration of types in Fast API, Pydantic enforces it at runtime and provides user-friendly error messages when data is invalid. Another key benefit of Fast API is its automatic interactive documentation. As we program in Fast API, it automatically documents everything with open standards like OpenAPI and JSON schema. We can view this documentation through systems like Swagger UI and Redoc in our browsers. Also, Fast API was tested on multiple editors, so we can get great editor support, including auto completion. This means we can code faster and have fewer bugs using Fast API. So, even if you know Flask and Django, it is still worth trying Fast API. By the end of this tutorial series, you build an API like this with different operations. All you need to start is some knowledge of Python. I'll try to make this as beginner friendly as possible. All right, now let's set up our Fast API environment. I'll use PyCharm, the community edition, which is free to download and use but you can use other Python editors such as VS Code. First, we'll create a project for this tutorial. We can go to File, select New Project. We can rename the project to Fast API Tutorial. Then we need to choose the Python interpreter, New Virtual Env Environment. The main purpose of setting a virtual environment is to have an isolated environment for each project so that we can manage them separately. We'll just choose the virtual env tool. We'll leave the location as it is. Then, for the base interpreter, we can choose the Python to use. If you have Python installed on your computer and you know the path to its executable file, you can select that file by clicking this. For example, I've already selected my Python.exe file. This is the latest version of Python at the time of filming this video, which is 3.10. Please check your Python version and make sure it has version of 3.6 or above. Fast API is only compatible with newer versions of Python. If you don't have Python yet, I believe you should see some options of Python to download from the drop-down menu. Then, when you click Create, Python will be downloaded. 
If not, you can always search for Python and just download it. Either way, now we can click Create the new project. It will take a couple minutes for the new project to get set up. There it is, our new project, Fast API Tutorial. Now we need to install the necessary packages in this environment. We can click Terminal and type some Python code here. We need two packages. First, we'll do pip install fastapi. OK, now we've successfully installed all of this. For your reference, I'm using fastapi of version 0.70.1. Then, we can also pip install uvcorn standard. This uvcorn server will be used to run FastAPI applications. OK, so it was also successfully installed. Finally, we are ready to use FastAPI. In this video, you've learned about FastAPI and set up its Python environment. Stay tuned for the part 2 video. We'll create a most basic API using FastAPI. Did you learn something new in this video? If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below this video right now. If you're interested in more data science tutorials and courses, please head over to our website justintodata.com. Thank you and see you in the next video.